Hello, my name's Tom Foley, and I'm gonna be talking about designing, developing, and evaluating learning health systems. By the end of the talk, you should have a good idea of what a learning health system is, why you might want to develop one, an understanding of complexity within learning health systems and also of learning communities as well as evaluation approaches and how we can put insights into practice within a learning health system. The most basic definition of a learning health system is a health system that learns from every patient who is treated. The key thing to take from this definition is that it is a health system. It's not a technology project or something that sits separate from the health system. It's an evolution of your health system into one that has the capabilities to learn from every patient who's treated. This is a slightly more helpful definition from the National Academy of Medicine. And this is that a learning health system is a system in which science, informatics, incentives and culture are aligned for continuous improvement and that all of that is embedded within the normal delivery process. The key thing to take from this definition is that yes, informatics is important, but so too are science, incentives, culture and continuous improvement. So it's important to start by understanding why you might want a learning health system. There are many reasons why organizations develop learning health systems. It might be that you want to improve outcomes or patient experience. It might be that you want to improve value or reduce unwarranted variation. It might be that you want to generate more knowledge within your organizations. Or it might be that you want to apply knowledge that has been developed elsewhere. It might be that you've made a large investment in your IT infrastructure and you want to maximize the return on that. It could be that you need to develop surveillance systems such as we saw during the pandemic. And it could be that you want to boost clinical performance. And for some organizations, developing a learning health system can be something of a marketing exercise. But understanding why you want your learning health system will help to understand what sort of learning health system is best within your organization. Next, it's important to think about the strategic approaches to change and evaluation when designing a learning health system. So it's important that a learning health system has a strategic direction and that that is aligned with the strategy of the organizations within which it's hosted. It's also important that the organizational structures are in place to support the delivery of the strategy. And it's important that there's a culture, one of learning, of research, of innovation. It's also key that the organizations have a workforce that are able to deliver the learning health system. And it's also important that we apply solid implementation science methods to the development of the learning health system. We also need to have a really robust evidence-based approach to change in behavior within the learning health system. And perhaps most importantly, all of these things need to be co-designed uh, with the actors that are going to have to participate in the learning health system. It's also important that we think about how we appraise new initiatives.